One of the most innovative features in Snagit is the integrated search and tagging. Searching and tagging allows you to find captures you've already taken so you don't have to take them again, tag important captures like receipts for future reference, or even manage your captures associated with a project. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about these three situations and how they might apply to you. First of all, search is important in Snagit because the Snagit editor automatically stores every capture you take with Snagit. By storing every capture, Snagit lets you focus on getting your images into your project quickly. But after some time, you might have a large collection of captures. That's where search comes in handy. By clicking here, you can open the search pane, which lets you find images stored by Snagit. For example, I can search by application name, which means if I captured an image of Camtasia Studio, I can enter Camtasia and see all the captures I took by clicking All Matched Captures. I can do the same thing with websites. I'll just cancel this search by clicking the X and enter the next search term. I've been looking for a new bicycle online and have taken some captures of ones I like. So I'll search for bike and click on websites. Now I can browse through my captures by website and see all the bikes I like. This one was one of my favorites. Of course, you may ask, how does Snagit know what I captured? Good question. If we go up to the Tags tab, we can see what Snagit knows about this capture. Every time Snagit takes a capture, it collects information about the capture. As you can see, I used Internet Explorer to capture this image from this website on this date. And if we click More Details on this image, we can see that the window title in Internet Explorer had these terms in the title, which are all searchable. But what if you want to add information about your capture to Snagit? That's what flags and keywords are for. Flags are general categories for captures. For example, I think this bike is pretty cool, so I can flag the capture as cool. Then I can go over to my flags in the search pane and view everything else that I've flagged as cool. What's nice is keywords work in a similar way, but I can enter in my own terms. So I think I'll select these two captures and add some keywords. Yeah, that works. One way I use keywords and flags is to manage and organize my projects. For example, I just finished a home project where I was looking at fence styles, but the fence went up last week, so I don't need all these captures anymore. Now I can just select all the captures with the keyword fence, and by right-clicking the image or pressing the delete key, I can get rid of them. Snagit will ask me if I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. And the captures are gone and removed from my keywords.